Hi, I'm Amber Royer, author of the Bean to Bar Mysteries, and they're set in Galveston, Texas. So I've been doing a series of videos where I show you some of my favorite things about Galveston. Here I am outside of Red Light Coffee Roasters. It's one of my favorite coffee places on the island, and it is not far at all from the cruise terminal. I'm gonna turn around and you can see the boat behind me. Um, book three, Out of Temper, is set on a cruise ship. Felicity gets to go do chocolate demos aboard ship and everything is great and fun and relaxing right up until, as it is a cozy mystery, there has to be a murder. Um, so we are taking the opportunity when we have this moment before book three comes out, we're going to take a cruise. So we're gonna be on that boat right there. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what being aboard a cruise ship is like and it should be a lot of fun for us. Hopefully some fun for you. For my book, I didn't want to use a real cruise line since it is a, a mystery. So I created a fictional cruise line that only sails out of Texas. Um, this area right here is all surrounding the port and it is the place where they would have sailed from, but everything else is fictional. So you can see this is Galveston still on this side of us and we're up top on the 12th deck where there's a walking track and there's a lounge for diamond members upstairs which jake has so we can go up there in a little bit and look around uh, so at this point we're inside checking out the diamond lounge which is actually pretty cool because it's quiet it's not crowded um, there's a limited capacity in here, so they are observing safety precautions, and I'm sure we'll be back in here a lot the next couple of days where they have coffee. So this is a slow rider. It's a surf simulator. You get the boogie board on it. Pretty cold out today, so there's no line, and I'm going in. Uh, if the video of that comes out okay, it'll be after this one. So one fun thing about cruise ships is they always try to plan activities for during sea days and you never know what you're going to wind up doing. So today Jake and I are actually at an art auction checking out some of these paintings. So they're about to get started with the auction itself and they'll be up there um, telling us about the art and there's going to be giveaways, all sorts of fun stuff. Another fun 
thing that most crews have is a formal evening or a chance to get dressed up. Of course, you could just dress up all week if you want to. Some people do. Um, so we've got formal clothes going on and we've been having a lot of fun. We're about to go see a show. Um, usually there are shows that are either um, music and dancing or theater, all kinds of stuff. Hotels and cruise ships often use random art objects as decor, and I have to say, the ones on our floor seem really random. They have a lot of puppets up here and circus things. I guess it makes a theme for our floor, but a theme for a lot of the ship seems to be music. So there's pieces like this little sculpture. I wanted to show you guys the chandelier that's up here in the dining room and no, it's not that. It's a lot bigger and glitterier and it just makes me happy because I love that retro art deco look. Look at that, that is just so pretty. And you can see the dining room up here has multiple levels. It's all very cool. When you're on a cruise ship, some of the days you'll spend at sea, but also you'll get a chance to have what they call shore excursions. And they've provided us with boats and paddle boards and all sorts of stuff. So we'll see what we wind up doing after we relax for a little while and enjoy being on shore in Mexico. Here we are getting ready for our second shore day. We're right off the coast of Cozumel. We're still in the boat, but we're about to dock. You can see the city behind me in the background. Um, it's gonna be a ton of fun today. We're gonna go on a deep ride. We're gonna go snorkeling, um, all kinds of stuff. I'm kind of mean to Felicity and out of temper because she doesn't actually get a shore day. So um, she winds up staying on the boat because it's a murder mystery. The murder happens, I have to keep all the suspects in one place. Unlike her, we're gonna go have a ton of fun. to look how clear and beautiful the water here is. We're in Cozumel. We just went snorkeling in this wonderful water. Saw some fish, saw a spiny lobster, a starfish, a sea cucumber. A couple of people saw a ray, but I missed that one. So calming, so peaceful here on the beach. We're, we're about to leave. They're packing up all the beach umbrellas and everything. So I should probably go. So I'm here up on the bow of the boat and you can actually see through these little windows into the control area and see where the boat is headed. You can also flip this around and I'm going to show you the ocean and how gorgeous it is today as we're heading up. In Out of Temper, part of the plot of the book takes place on a cruise ship library. And I wanted to show you guys that that actually is a thing. Here I am on the boat that we're on in the library. 
and they have everything. They've got a library book return, just like we are at a normal library. Um, they also use this room for cards and anytime people just want a nice place to sit. You can see behind me, there's a lot of chairs. Upstairs is actually an internet cafe where people can access computers, just like you would at a library as well. It's so easy to lose track of time while you're cruising that a lot of cruise ships actually put the day of the week on the floor in the elevator so you can remember how many days you have left in your cruise. Elevators are kind of nice. There's some that have um, a, an inward facing wall that has glass so you can see down into all of the areas. We see right down onto the promenade, which is where there's always shops and you can wander around. There's restaurants, that little cafe where the car is down there, I believe was open half the night. So here we are at the very front of the boat. And one thing I wanted to show you that's kind of cool is they have a helicopter pad and really it's in case of emergencies, but there is a big enough space up here for a helicopter to land if need be. The boat really is a very large. When you think about when you're inside, it, it feels like a floating hotel. And looking at another boat face on from a different cruise line, you can see it, it looks on about the same scale as some of the buildings that are over there on shore. Sunrise is coming up now and it is gorgeous. I hope you've enjoyed this chance to see around the ship that we're on and get a feel for cruise ships in general so you can see how the setting works in Out of Temper. Out of Temper is the third book in the Bean to Bar Mysteries. Remember, it all started with Grand Openings Can Be Murder. Um, second book is 70% Dark Intentions. Out of Temper comes out February 1st, probably has come out by the time you see this video. And we are looking forward to a shot in the 80% Dark coming out sometime this summer. Have a great day.